Hey, what's up, guys? Three videos in one day. Three. Three. Count them. Uh, three videos in one day, which is pretty much unheard of for me. I don't really upload as much as I, nearly as much as I used to. Um, but my good buddy Daniel San uh, had a video where he was talking about his top five Armaf fragrances. Um, if you haven't uh, seen Daniel, Daniel's channel, I'll put a link for his channel channel in the, the description. Um, I like him. He, you'll, you'll probably like him too. He's a lot like me where he never worries about the length of his videos. He, you know, it, it's what it's got to be. He has a very calm kind of demeanor. He very, speaks very frankly about things. Swears a lot less than me though, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, I don't have five Armaf fragrances for you. So his tag, like I said, was the top five Armaf fragrances. And I don't have five. So I have two. Obviously two are not enough to compare really. Um, but it just made me think about my Armaf fragrances and three videos in one day, like I said, but, um, it made me think about them and, and, uh, maybe just do a quick little video discussing them. I own two. Um, I own Club de Nuit Man, um, not Club de Nuit Intense. I say that every time just because Club de Nuit Intense for Men, or Club de Nuit Intense Man, I think is actually what it's called, is their biggest one. That's one of the biggest clones ever, really. I mean, it's one of the most popular for sure. That's the black bottle with the rhinestones that is the clone of, um, um, pardon me, Aventus by Creed, a little known company. Uh, um, and then, but I have ju just Club de Nuit Man, which I've done a review on. If you want to check that out, you'll find that on my channel. And that's kind of a clone of like, eh, a little bit like uh, um, One Million, Spice Bomb, a couple couple things in there. And then I also have Ventana, which is a clone of Sauvage. And I've done a review of that as well, if you'd like to watch that. Um, so I'll talk about those two real quick, and then I'll talk about some of the others I've smelled. Because I've smelled a couple, just in addition to the ones I own. I think of the two that I own, my favorite is um, Club de Nuit Man. And this is a company where I haven't smelled all of their fragrances. Um, in fact, before I even say, a great channel, if you're interested in clones, and if you've just watched my most recent video, you, you'll know that I'm really going to start getting into the clones and stuff like that. But a really good video, if you want good information on our moth fragrances, is Joy Amin. Joy is my favorite, one of my favorites, probably my favorite reviewer. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. Uh, I, I love him. I love his candid and happy nature. Uh, he has great, great videos talking in depth about individual Arma fragrances, ranking them. He's got tons of, tons of stuff. You have no dearth of content on his channel about Arma fragrances. So check him out. Um, I don't need to tell you that he's fairly popular, but check him out if you're looking specifically for a moth stuff. So Club de Nuit Man, like I've said, um, build quality wise is in a different class than Ventana on its own. Cl Club de Nuit Man comes in a glass bottle with a very heavy sprayer, a very heavy cap rather, and a very good sprayer. The build quality rivals some designer $100, $90, $100 designer fragrances I've owned. Build quality alone, it's fantastic. I happen to think that the rhinestones on the bottle are a bit tacky, but the same design is used for all of the fragrances including of that line, including their female fragrances. So more than likely, they just decided we're not going to touch the bottle design. We're going to save money, you know, throw it out. That's, you know, I'm not big on bottle signs, so I don't really care if there are rhinestones on my bottle. I just think it looks a little tacky. Great design, great sprayer, great. Juice, fantastic. Great quality juice. It, to me, it smells, and I've said this before, it smells a lot like One Million. A lot. It just takes away that Paco Raban candy sweetness kind of signature DNA at the top. Um, Invictus has it as well. And uh, like a, a Zara Wanted has that. Um, just like a sticky candy sweetness cotton candy or they call it bubble gum to me it's a little bit more like cotton candy or like a like a hard candy almost like a jolly rancher without the sour i don't know really descriptive but uh it, it's that's gone really it's still very sweet i almost get like cinnamon and some wine and uh nice really just apple 
maybe even cherry at times, but very sweet, but almost a boozy vibe, I've said, like a like a little bit of like a, a whiskey, perhaps, uh, or something like that, or a bourbon, a nice whiskey vibe that I don't really get with One Million too much. One Million for me is a very, actually quite feminine, especially on my skin, with my chemistry. Uh, One Million is extremely feminine, which is fine. I actually like One Million. It's just a little too strong at the top for me. So you'll get Woods as well. Um, it, it's distinctly masculine, but it's it, it has a nice feminine edge to it. I like unisex stuff. Um, I would consider it probably unisex. Um, amazing performance and amazing projection. It's extremely strong with the projection. Um, so I love that fragrance. And then with Ventana, um, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this one. Uh, I'd actually rather you just watch my videos on that if you're interested, but horrible horrible bottle um it's it's tacky and like i said i don't really care too much about that but it is very tacky looking and it, it's just cheaply made cheap plastic an absolutely terrible sprayer unfortunately it's very cheap plastic and it feels like it's going to break off thankfully i've never broken the sprayer off on it but um it's not very well made and i had said how you know i don't i haven't checked all the fragrances in this line but i'm sure there are big discrepancies between build quality okay and that's thing you're, a thing you're going to want to check out before you go and blind buy these fragrances, even if you've watched a lot of videos, because I don't know if everybody talks about the build quality. I thankfully had a joint where I could go and actually check out all the, pretty much all of the Arma fragrances in person, thankfully. I took the chance with Arma, with uh, Ventana. Build quality sucks, but the juice is about 90% similar to Sauvage. A little bit different. It's a little sweeter at the top. It smells a little bit more synthetic. It lasts not as long. It doesn't project as long. But at $20 a bottle, no problems. So those are the two I own. I've smelled Club de Nuit, Intense, Women. Um, there's also Club de Nuit for, uh, for women. Or Club de Nuit Women. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Um, that one I haven't smelled. That one looks pretty similar to the Club de Nuit Man bottle. Club de Nuit Intense for Women looks perhaps identical to the um, the famous Aventus clone that we all know. Um, and I believe that is a clone of Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. That one, I, my nose, I, I've smelled it and I, I like it. It's one of the few niche fragrances I really do enjoy a lot, but um, uh, I just, I don't have it on me. You know, I haven't been wearing it the past couple months or anything like that. I only get to smell it once in a while. Um, but that one is a clone of that. And I thought it's it's very niche, in a, I think. Uh, I don't think that a lot of people are going to like it. Men could wear this as well, but it's a daring scent. So please, please uh, make sure that you like that before you buy that one. Check that one out because it's a clone of a niche fragrance that even a lot of people might not like. So make sure you check that one out. But I do enjoy that. I've also tried um, Trey Nuit, which is a clone of Green Irish Tweed. It comes in kind of a triangular bottle. Um, I don't remember that one that well, but I remember not having a big issue with it. Um, I don't really like the greenness of Green Irish Tweed as much as I really like the aquaticness of, um, Cool Water. And if you've watched my stuff, you know that I'm not a big aquatic guy. I'm not a big blue guy. Cool Water is just one, I don't know if it's because it's nostalgic, because it's the 90s or whatever. Um, I prefer that one. I thought that Trey New Wheat was pretty good, but it's never one that I will, that blew me away or I would ever pick up. Um, but these are all very fairly inexpensive colognes. And then the last one I, I tried is um, called Shades Wood. They also make a couple shades line. They make shades uh, blue. Actually, Daniel has a review on that if you want to check his review out, out on that. Um, that's like a Blue de Chanel clone, uh, clone, kind of, you know, like they did their own little maybe thing with it. Um, I didn't try that one, but Shades Wood is like the same exact bottle design, uh, just a different color, um, same line. And that one was a lot of like, uh, it, again, uh, one, please, please try it before you buy it. But um, pipe tobacco, woods, leather, and a weird note at the top, which probably was rose. I, I'm feeling, I remember, I tried a good heavy dosage on it at the store, but it was rose. Nice, but the rose at the top, and the rose is in the top, not the mids, which rose often is in the mids of a lot of these kind of heavier fragrances, Rose was at the top. And I do remember it being a bit off-putting, but I liked it. It was just one of those weird ones that I really enjoyed. 
So those are the Arma fragrances that I know. There's a lot of great clones, guys. Like I've always said, I've said this probably a dozen times on my channel. I will say it every damn time. Cuba Gold. It's a Lamal clone that I, I like almost as much as Lamal. Lamal's got a little mint in it. Cuba Gold has a little bit more of like a, a spicy vibe to it that Lamal's lacking. Um, there's there's clone. And uh, by the way, Cuba Gold is five bucks. Buy that shit right now. Buy Cuba Gold. Bye. No, I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, I'm being crazy. Um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to do this. I thought it was fun. Clones are great. Our moth is good. It's hit or miss, uh, but I feel like it's more hit than it is miss, honestly, in what I've tried. Um, I've tried more our moth fragrances than what I've listed, but um, not enough where I have an accurate description in my head to talk about to you. You know, I've tried a lot of them uh, 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 over a while, um, just not like over and over like the ones I've described. I've tried a couple times. So yeah, have have fun with your fragrances and everything. Check these out if you're looking for cheap alternatives. Do your research. Check out the stuff I told you. Peace out and smell good.